Hey, first graders, happy Wednesday. I'm so glad you're here. I've been waiting. I'm glad you made it. Hey, ready? Elbow, elbow, namaste. It's great to see you. I like the outfit you're wearing. This is my uh, Boston Bruins. That's a hockey team. Boston, where I grew up, so I thought I'd wear it. Uh, since it feels kind of like, it still feels like hockey weather out there, outside. Anyway, um, we're going to start our day the way we start every day, by giving our head and heart to God. <clears throat> so, let's close our eyes and clear out all the other thoughts we might have. Try to focus just on... God and Jesus and what their message means to us <clears throat> as disciples. And our prayer today, we're going to start out with the sign of the cross and then the Hail Mary prayer, which is a great prayer for now because we're in May and May is the month of Mary. I know that in religion class you're learning about that. And we'll think about that as we say the sign of the cross and the Hail Mary. So here we go. Sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And flag of the United States of America. How many stars? 50. Those stars stand for the states and when you combine the 50 states combined you get the country. So a country is the states combined. The states are smaller than the country. We've been talking about that all year long. We want to make sure it's in our brain. Let's pledge allegiance not to the each state, but to all the states combined. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. And <clears throat> then we come to the rug. Our student teacher... He or she or she or he would set up the calendar and help us <clears throat> see that today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020, or 5-20-20. That's a lot of 20s. It's also a lot of twos and a lot of zeros, right? Look at that, 20, 20, 20. You could say May, May 2020, 20. Hmm. It's almost like a palindrome, but not quite. May 2020. Happy May 2020. All right. All about today chart. Yesterday was the number two day of the week. Today is, and tomorrow will be Thursday. So this is like the midday of the week. They call it the hump day because we're over the hump of the week. Our schedule today, <clears throat> right now we're having our daily meeting. And we're going to do some math. Math, it's going to be awesome. We're going to do some double digit addition. And you're going to be amazed at what you can do. And we'll even practice, for those of you that want, I challenge you, it's just as easy to do double digit addition. You could do triple digit addition. So we're going to practice that in math. In literacy, um, we'll have another mystery muscle word. We will um, be reading Cinderella, and we'll be reading about the explorers and the settlers who came to the uh, North America and South America after the Native Americans were here. Yesterday, we read about the Spanish explorers, like Christopher Columbus. Today, we're going to read about the explorers from England, the United Kingdom. 
We're also going to work on editing your powerful paragraphs, and we're going to learn about some other cool word endings. Um, and then in science, we're going to explore one more time plant adaptations. So we got a fun day ahead of us. After that, you epilogue. I hope you can go out and play. Um, read for 15 minutes. Practice your spelling words because tomorrow is our last spelling test of the year. And it's all the words from, well, we're going to pick 20 words from, some of which will come from lesson 19, some from lesson 20, some from 21, and some from lesson 22. Um, so practice those spelling words for a few minutes and math facts and sight words and phrases. All right, our country of the day. Yesterday, our country of the day was Russia, the biggest country in the world, but in terms of land. Today, our, our country of the day is China. China is the biggest country in the world in terms, if you think about the number of people that live in a country. So sometimes when you talk about the size of a country, we talk about how big the land is. Sometimes we talk about how big the population. Population is how many people live there. China is by far the biggest country in the world. They have the most people. In fact, if you took all the people in the world and put them in a room, one out of every four of those people would be from China. It's like if our classroom with our 18 students, if our 18 students were the whole world, four or five of you would be from China. That's, and only about one of you would be from the United States. All right, I get carried away again about these useful, interesting facts. So in China, they speak Chinese, and in, we've learned this year the way that we say thank you is xie xie, xie xie. And uh, if you want to learn more about China, which I hope you will, it's, um, it's a, an important country in the world that, as you remember in social studies, a lot of stuff that we buy comes from China. Um, anyway, uh, if you want to learn about China in just five minutes, I have a short five-minute video with a lot of amazing facts, including some amazing animals that live in China. All right, yesterday's mystery muscle word was transform, right? Love God, love others, transform our world. It means to change, change our world. All right, so then we would put the straws in the straw chart. Before we do that, though, we would count how many were there already. And when we did that, we'd see there was one straw in the hundreds pocket, one, I'm sorry, six straws in the tens pocket, and five straws in the ones pocket. So we had 100, six tens, and five ones, which is 165, plus one more today, because today is just one day. So today is 165 plus 1, which is just like 5 plus 1. You know that by heart. It is what? Right, seis. In Spanish, we call it seis. So 5 plus 1 is 6, or seis. And then you, so today is day number 166. If you bring down the 100 and the 610. So today is day number 166, and you can say that in an infinite number of ways. Some of you might say 100 plus 66. Some of you might say 160 plus 6. Some of you might say 165 plus 1. But I hope all of you can show 166 in terms of money. And if you did, well, good luck. Yesterday, we showed 165 with... One dollar, which is 100 cents, two quarters, which is worth 25.50, so 100, 125, 150, one dime, which is worth 10, so 150 plus 10 is 160, and one nickel, 
So 160 plus 5 is 165. All right, and so for today, one day, every day is worth a penny. So we put that there, and it would be 166. Yep, my cats agree. 166. So today is day number 166. You could show it with a dollar, two quarters, a dime, a nickel, or a penny. Or if you're lucky enough, you could have a dollar coin, a 50 cent piece, a dime, a nickel, a penny. All right, so just a quick refresher. Um, you all know this is the dollar. There is your nickel two of those is 50 one is 25 then this small but powerful coin is the dime the president is fdr and then the nickel who's on the nickel thomas jefferson who wrote the declaration of independence and helped george washington and Abraham Lincoln. All right, thanks a lot. Today's day 166. Let's make it a most excellent day. And as they say in China, xie xie, or they, they, do, they bow like we do when we say namaste, they go xie xie, xie xie.